Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. Have you ever watched movies where there is a scene that somebody is drowning drowning all the way to the bottom and the camera goes close up of their face and their faces are so calm there is such a tranquility in their face there's such a grace in their body and the sh- scenes are shot very nicely i watched a movie called sacrifice recently there's a girl who is who is drowning and uh, she is at complete peace uh, going by her body language and by facial expression they are very a uh, good piece of cinema uh why am i talking about this uh well immersion is so different than drowning drowning is where you have the fear of death and you're just kicking around and you're flailing around and then at some point the individual must give up i'm not wishing to die <laughs> in that way but what i'm trying to highlight is that that is an experience which uh, we all can have i think it can be manufactured without going into the water <laughs> when i watched this video that are you watching now when i was doing editing there are it's a live video so i there's like an hour of footage that i have to cut through and i find some really good parts in it and believe me or not the one good part in it is where i'm actually sitting on the bench in between my sets and i'm looking at myself how at peace i am with myself so creating videos watching videos editing them analyzing them has really helped me i'm not going to talk about my form the weight it is just something that we all have and we all deserve time during the day where we are into some activity which disconnects us from everything yes i am lifting here i'm lifting heavy it is hard all put together but i don't mind it it takes my full attention it is a very intense time and i absolutely don't mind it it's a beautiful little gym it is 9 o'clock in the night there is hardly anyone i set my camera up i have the number in my mind which is by the way 185 kg and there is nothing else in my mind there is nowhere else i want to be and you will see the shot when i'm sitting and just i don't know i'm not even thinking and that made me think i am so lucky to have found this i i really wish i could call it my craft but i think i'm not there yet i have been lifting squatting deadlifting overhead pressing and bench pressing from last 6 to 7 years but it's coming close for me to call it my craft i used to call it but i realize i need to put more time i watched a video of uh, on youtube of some uh, weightlifting channel type guy and he said something really beautiful he said your craft is something that you easily spend 3 to 4 hours not even knowing you spent and i i'm not spending that much time uh, i wish i could spend more but I have been spending time from last at least 7 years so that that's gets me closer to call it my craft. But there is one thing that your craft or whatever that you're pursuing should have an effect on you and that is of immersion. The disconnect from the rest of look at me I'm just so happy. Yes, this is a, a rather new thing a squat dance that I do. uh and i think i have done it before not on the camera and uh, i'm just doing a bit more of it uh, maybe because there's no one around so yes that's the shot that i was talking about i sat like that for at least 7 minutes i take long breaks between my sets there is no rush there is no what am i going to do next there is no sets after sets after reps or someone yelling at you 
or you're in a group class or crossfit where it's just all go 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 where there is a desperation to make that disconnect there isn't any of that when i'm lifting especially squats it is there in deadlift as well it's there in press as well but um there is something special about it and uh, this shot of me just you know just sitting there not checking my phone i'm not even thinking of what set next would be how was the rep it i think it went on for 5 10 minutes and only because i was editing my video i watched myself i said that is the moment that i have registered that i had this flow experience this deep immersion there is no fight there is no way to be or 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 to text someone or or no it is so wonderful i really hope that most people find this some activity in their life early in their life i hope that can really give them that immersive experience that introspection that meditative quality without meditating for me it's lifting i'm not saying lifting is meditation meditation is a very deep state which uh, which takes a lot of work to practice but doing squats for me or doing deadlifting puts me into that meditative state at the least i could say it is still there for me to capture it through other means it is still a bit of a work for me to start calling it my craft i'm in very early days of me as a student but i have come far enough to know that this is what gives me that immersive experience <laughs> figuratively and physically like you just go down in a squat and you're immersing by the way um last squat session was 180 kg reloaded uh this was 185 kg 5 kg plus i'm looking good towards my 200 kg deadlift but i will reload 85 kg again maybe do another set of 3 or 4 then i'll move on to 190 and so forth i don't want to go ahead get ahead of myself at this point i'm happy where i am uh that's another wonderful thing of uh, of strength training or heavy lifting that uh, as you make progress you can't rush yourself because it's a heavy thing you're doing so quite a few uh, wonderful experiences in this session i really enjoyed it and i must say that i wish it for everyone and most of these experience don't come at any cost at least not much of financial cost they are all around us it could be riding a bike for someone who is into riding bikes it could be in painting and drawing for me it mostly comes through from something hard something intense something physical go get it by all means and um, please like and subscribe i'm really enjoying making these videos and talking to you guys and um, i will see you in the next video where more than likely i'll do 185 again and uh, please do comment what else would you like to see me doing amongst the four lifts i mean i don't do much bench presses but overhead press and deadlift yes so anyway guys hope you enjoy the video and uh, i'll see you next time thank you